very cognizant of the fact that this is the one show. This right. is one of the hardest awards to win. It's an incredibly high benchmark. Um, so we were all agreeing with each other before we started judging that we were going to be really tough. Um, the work was going to be interrogated. We weren't going to let anything slip through. So with all that in mind, I think it just speaks to the sheer quantity of amazing work that's been yeah. entered. What we didn't want to do was say, oh no, we have this artificial number of like, you know, 10 or eight or whatever it was, right. and just stick to that and see other work that was really brilliant and deserving lose out. So for us, it's like, look, if it's a gold, it's a gold. Yeah. And as you just mentioned, you, you saw some of those discussions. They were really robust. Yeah, robust conversations. <laughs> robust conversations in a, in a really good way. Yeah. In a really yeah. good way. Um, people made excellent mm. points and we were respectful and we listened. And some people were persuaded and said, I hadn't thought about yes. it like that before. And it, it was great. But at the end of the day, we all agreed, you know, this piece of work is a gold. Yeah. Give it a gold. Yes. You know, I, I love being on juries because I feel like it's going back to school. It's a master class yeah. every time. And every time I judge, I learn something mm. about, um, you know, the work, how to view it, different perspectives. So what was the biggest piece of learning for you in the room? I learned that there's a hell of a lot of amazing competition out there. I'll tell you that much. That's, That's right. one thing I learned. It's like, whoa. Um, I think PR used to be seen as a bit of a kind of like a little bit of an easy option, tactical, you know, just a little bit throwaway. Actually, now I think the best work is showing up in PR. Right. I think yes. it's right up there. And so the thing I learned is Agree. that this is tough. If you want to make a piece of work for your clients that's really going to earn attention, that's really going to change behavior, it's 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 got to do an awful lot of things um so i would say that the other thing that i learned or i observed was that what was really making the difference to the jury was work that inspired action not just work that raised awareness yes it, it was interesting actually i mean you'll remember yesterday we, we were having a conversation about a couple of pieces of work that were actually really similar in format and the discussion, you know what I'm talking about, and yeah, the discussion came down to, look, we're looking at these two things. They're both brilliant. They're both fantastic creative ideas. One kind of could change a lot of things really profoundly. The other is just going to raise awareness again. Absolutely. And actually, that's, that was the deciding factor. So I think that that's probably the main thing I learned was that PR today is about action, not only getting companies to act and do things, but it's actually right. about getting an audience to act and do things as well. It's about, you know, yeah. pushing the peanut forwards. It's about moving things on. I'm so glad you brought that up about action. And, and I think that that's what separates the gold from everything else is was seeing that it changed behavior or it drove sales um, and it changed the perception of a company there was definitely an action and and I think that um, I love that you said the best work is showing up in PR now because the best work needs to live in culture and when you look at we all live on our devices it's so important that people are seeking you out, sharing you, talking about you, and that is the future of PR.